Hi friends, we are with the seventh video in our VBOTS ROS2 tutorial series. In last video, we saw how we tweaked our custom robot to make it line following robot. So today we will learn about a important tool in ROS2 which is RWIS2. This is a 3D visualization tool. So in layman's language, RWIS2 is eyes of the robot. It gives us perspective of what robot is sensing, what robot is looking and what robot is doing. So from the description, you must have guessed it right that RWIS can be used for simulating different sensor data. So it gives us perspective of what robot is sensing, how our LiDAR is seeing an obstacle, etc. So think about navigation without RWIS. So in navigation, we need to know many things like we need to know where our robot is with respect to map. We need to know is robot following the path on the map. We also need to know that are there obstacles around it or is it accelerating very fast. So these are the some parameters which we need to know while robot is navigating. Also, if we are using manipulators to pick something, we need to know many joint properties which will be nicely visualized by RWIS. So think about a world without RWIS, you will have bunch of terminals where you will have data floating and it will be very difficult to have a track of what the data means. So debugging will be very difficult. So these are some applications of RWIS. So today we have a plan of starting with basics of RWIS. Then we will see an example of how we can make an RWIS file, how to save it, how to load it via launch file. And also we will see a great demo where use of RWIS is done extensively and in a very great way. So rather than wasting time, let's quickly start. So in this section, we are going to learn about RWIS. So basics of RWIS and how to make a file in RWIS. So for that, we'll be using this tutorial epoch ROS2. So let's bring up the terminal. Let's go in vbots ROS2 workspace. Then let's source the workspace. ROS, let's copy this, it'll be easy. So the link to this page will be given to you. And by now, if you have gone through all the tutorials, this page must have become friend to you. So you see, our world is here. For just a sanity check, we can do ROS2 topic. Let source it first. Never forget to source. ROS2 topic list. So here we should see uh, many topics which are being published and subscribed by uh, different nodes in this project. So now let's quickly go through RWIS. So in this, we can type RWIS2 and hit on enter. So this will spawn our RWIS. There you go. So in this RWIS, it is similar to RWIS in ROS1. So here you have some different options like in file you can save you can open the configuration which we'll see soon in panel you can have uh, display properties and help you can have help about how rwiz works so these are important options which we will be using so interact and move camera are used to move the scene Select is used to select if we want to select multiple quantities. We can have focus of camera. We can measure 
and these two are important in terms of navigation. So for example, if you are navigating and you don't have perfect localization, you can give initial pose as 2D pose estimate. So you can use this and point some arrow. So here there'll be your robot and this will be the orientation of robot. You can even give 2D goal, which we will be seeing further so that robot follows 2D goal. And this option is a publish point. You can customize this by adding some tools or by removing some if not needed. For example, if I click on publish point, I don't have it anymore. So this will come in very handy when you play with Arvis because it has different orientations and this is just responsible for view. So when you save an Arvis, these coordinates are saved because next time when we spawn Arvis and if we keep any particular orientation, it will keep the same while opening the Arvis. And now our battlefield where we will be using this the most. So let's start with global options. So remember, when you have frames or topics, you need to make sure that they are available in your ROS. So for now, we don't have map topic. That is why we are seeing these errors. If I convert this to camera or let's do base link, and if I hit on enter, see, I got to check. And now my full RVs will be with respect to base link. There are some options. And this is where you will add sensors and you will see the magic in Arvis. So if I, add, if I click on add, if I add here robot description, robot model, if I hit OK, I am not seeing anything because I have not yet clicked on topic. So if I go in description topic, here I need to select robot description. And if I hit on enter, you see, you see small epoch robot is here for us. You can also look at TF. So this is very handy because if I give you matrix of XYZ theta alpha phi between two coordinate frames, it will be difficult to visualize. But if you get this TF tree, there you go. So if you see, so this is a TF tree which is very dense. Let's decrease the density and let's, for example, if someone asks you, what is the orientation of base link with respect to camera link? So you can show these two links and tell that they are 90 degrees offset. And you can also show X, Y difference. So this is how you, you can add the frames. So for now, we'll close all the frames. And one more thing. So now it's difficult. See, if I give you just this epoch, you don't know where your TOF sensor or distance sensors are. So what we can do is we can click on add. And there is one more way by which you can select topics. So this was display type. That means we were selecting it by type. Now we will select by topic. So this is the topic and this is a way by which we can visualize it. So for example, if I click on TOF range, if I hit on enter, I see a cone. That means this shows that my TOF sensor is here in my RVs and this is the range of TOF sensor. So after learning about these features and making a prototype in RVs, let's learn how to save RVs. So if I click on five and if I click on save configuration as, so it will give me options. It will default save it in dot RVs too, but usually we will save it in our project. So for now, let's save it in temporary dot temp dot RVs. So I'll replace because I already had saved one. So. So this is all about saving RVs. Now, for example, 
if i want to on this project again you see here star so if i click on control s it saves if i close this and now for example if i close my project as well so next time when i want to load my rways i will not have to start from scratch so if i on my project and click on rvs here rvs2 i will see that it is blank again but don't worry if you go in file open configuration desktop temporary rvs temp rvs and if i on close without saving you see here this is exactly where what we saved and this is exactly what we had in rvs so we saw an example how to load our rvs file so if i have a project it is not feasible to every time open rvs and load my configuration so what we can do is we can add our rvs configuration in our launch file so this is an example launch file where you have generate launch description and here you have rvs so it is just like an another node where you have package name at rvs2 executable as rvs2 again name you can change but we will keep same as rvs2 and here it takes an argument of where our rvs file is situated so in this example it is in package directory which is vbots ros2 epoch resources all rvs so, yeah ros2 epoch in resources you have all rvs so if let's double click this to not let it go so if i see all rvs this is the rvs file this is how you will see the rvs file and so it took the argument of where the rvs file is and we can have parameter of use same time as use same time and we will see output in the screen so this is how this is a standard way by which you can add your rvs into your node that means whenever we call this launch file rvs will be default launched and it will launch in configuration of all dot rvs so now in this last section we will have demo of how rvs can be used to its fullest so vbots has done a great job in having an rvs file which is fully loaded so for example we have this already running we'll close this rvs file and we will run navigation here this is navigation so if i copy this and uh, this is already sourced so control shift v if i hit on enter it will on rvs for us so you see this is fully loaded rvs where you have many tofs you can see how your long range tof is giving you the value you have a map so you see here if i uncheck this there is a map you also have something known as cost map so if i close this this is the map which was saved and loaded in rvs it also has a cost map so if you work with move base you need to configure your global cost map and your local cost map so you see everything is loaded correctly you can see range of sensors if i zoom in oops i can see the pose of robot so i know the robot is looking in this direction i can see different bunch of tofs so if i if i'll hide, hide this it'll be better i can also add the description how we learned in our example so i go to description topic 
this is usually the case with rvs where you don't get get the pointer here you go so when i hit on robot description we can see the robot and obstacles so now let's make epoch's life easy so we will remove these obstacles so if i hit on delete we don't see the obstacles and now the best part of this video being we can move our robot and you will see it moving here so remember we talked about 2d goal pose so if we give goal our robot starts following so you see it is following the path if i give it here and we are also getting the path by which it went and you see here the green path which we saw is this path so here there is a topic so this project is made in such a way that there is a move base which is a package which takes in the initial pose and goal pose it sees the local cost map and global cost map and calculates a path so the green path which we see comes on slash plan topic so if you want to configure any type of path you need to use path in arvis and give it the topic name so this was all about arvis teaching arvis is a small thing but having experience with arvis will actually help you debug your problems very quickly so use arvis to your full ext extent because these are your eyes of your robot so if you like the video do share and do subscribe the channel because we will be coming with many cool robotics videos which will make you and your robot smarter thank you